During the excavations, as part of the Bath Abbey footprint project, Wessex archaeology have been reducing the floor level within the plant room, to the east of the abbey. Sealed below Roman deposits was a possible Mesolithic land surface containing artifacts from over 6,000 years ago. Mesolithic people were hunter-gatherers, probably attracted to camp here by the presence of the thermal springs. The presence of flint blades, bladelets and cores enabled the dating of the deposit to the Mesolithic period. This flint waste represents leftovers from tool manufacturing. Environmental evidence may also be present, which can tell us which natural resources were being exploited and what the landscape was like. Because of the significance of the deposit, the diminutive size of much of the flint from this period, and the potential for environmental evidence, a detailed sampling strategy was agreed. The possible Mesolithic surface was gridded into one meter squares. Three quarters of each square went hand excavated with finds collected by the archaeologists. The final quarter was sampled in its entirety for processing in the lab. These samples were taken to Wessex Archaeology Head Office in Salisbury. Once here, they went through a process to extract small artifacts and environmental evidence. First of all, hydrogen peroxide was added to the soil. This causes a chemical reaction which helps to break down the structure of clay soils, making processing the sample easier. Once the reaction has stopped, the sediment is placed into a flotation tank. Here, the sediment is manually stirred. Lightweight material that float, such as charred seeds, wood charcoal and other organic matter, pass into a very fine collection sieve. Heavy residues are collected in another sieve seen after the tank has been emptied. These residues are then slowly dried in a salt drying oven. Once the drying process is complete, the residues are passed through a series of sieves and hand sorted. Any artifact is retained and placed in marked bags for further analysis. The residues are then weighed and discarded. A similar process occurs with the floods, which are also labelled and packaged for further analysis. The finest material from the residue and the floods can be sorted with the aid of a microscope. Environmental evidence such as seeds, nut cell fragments, snail cells and charcoal may be found in them. The seeds and nut cells can tell us about what sort of plants were being exploited. The charcoal and snail cells about what the landscape was like. The Mesolithic evidence that we've recovered from the plant room is just the vestigial remains of what would have been richer and more varied assemblages of material uh, deriving from campsites, temporary camps inhabited by Mesolithic people at different times in the year. The lithics that survive, the stone tools, are there because flint is obviously very durable. Other sites around Bath and also further afield give us a better idea of what these people were doing. And generally what you find is a pattern of small, relatively small, relatively short-lived camps on slight rises, little high points in, in the topography where there's dry land often on the banks of, of rivers, braided river systems, on wetlands, places like this, which are very rich in natural resources, fish, birds, plants, these kinds of things. They're, they're, they're fertile, they're attractive, so Mesolithic people who are hunter-gatherers, they, they survive entirely on foraged wild species, there's no agriculture. They're attracted to these places because they're rich in the kinds of resources that they need in order to survive. Um, there are several sites of the type that we found in the Abbey around Bath and they are congregated to a certain degree around the hot springs. 